you ever feel maxed out in your life when it comes to serious, consistent, multiple training, you keep on training every single day, but your body gives in because you're, t you're physically tired, but you can't stop. You have to like keep going, keep going, keep going with your physical training. Have you ever been maxed out in your life? This is not about credit card maxed out. This is about training maxed out. So when you keep on training consistently and your body can't take it anymore, your body needs to rest, you'll be like what Goku would have said. Well, okay, guess I'm officially maxed out now. And then he passes out on the floor, Goku. I will definitely put that before the title card. Have you ever been maxed out from your training work ethics? Go to the title card. What's up, you guys? Justin Television here. I'm so happy and excited. This is the season finale of my YouTube episode, season 12, episode 17. This is my season finale. Just so to let you guys know out there, this is my season finale. This is the ending of the episode for season 12 before season 13 is about to hit next year. Just so you know, this is the season finale for season 12. Season 12, episode 17 season finale okay you guys today is sunday december 17 2023 and this youtube video is all about maxing out your personal training work ethics when, when you max out your training like you train almost every single day and your body can't take it anymore and you need to relax and give in for a little bit so yeah me personally i have been sticking to my training regimen being a serious, consistent, hard worker when it comes to my physical training, like a lot, a lot, a lot of exercises nowadays. Oh, just to throw that out there, you guys, in two more days, I believe Tuesday, December 19, I see the surgery consultation specialist in order for me to get rid of my boobs from my top surgery operation. Once I get rid of my boobs, I will definitely become shirtless like all the other boys. Just to throw that out there. On Tuesday, December 19, I'm going to see the surgery consultation specialist. And he will let me know when is the top surgery day is going to be. I can't wait. I really want these boobs to get the fuck out of here. To get the F out of my life. These fucking boobs. Because in the nearest future, Justin is going to become shirtless. Like all the other boys. In the nearest future. So yeah. Yes, I have been tired out from my training. Like, I have been tuckered out before. But I keep telling myself, no, I can do more. Like, don't give in just because you're tired. Because you have to train, 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 train. So you could become healthier and stronger no matter what happens to you, I guess. I mean, sometimes I do train unless, unless if I'm not feeling well. Like, I do train when I get sick sometimes. Because I like to keep my training days my training regimen very, very consistent. So yeah, you guys, I just think my training ethics, my serious consistent multiple training ethic, ethics are really good because I'm trying to live a healthier lifestyle. I'm trying to lose weight and I'm and I'm not eating that much like I used to. I mean, my whole body is is changing from my weight and my eating habits because I'm, I'm doing a really good job. I'm losing weight right now. Oh, you guys, yesterday, I just checked my weight yesterday. Guess what? I'm down to 193. 193. Can you believe it? For the past four fucking months. For the past four fucking months, I'm down to 193. I'm no longer overweight anymore, you guys. Yay! Congratulations to Justin. <laughs> Seriously, you guys, I'm no longer overweight anymore because when you hit 195, 200, or 240, you're basically overweight. Guess what? I'm no longer overweight anymore. I'm no longer overweight anymore. See? Hard training days really fucking paid off. I checked my weight yesterday, and guess what? Guess what my new weight is, you guys? Guess what my new weight is? 
193 pounds. Just a few more to go for the surgery because my doctor specifically told me either 190 or 180. I'm thinking by January, I'm going to hit 189 or 188 in January because I don't know when my top surgery is going to be. Because the day when I see the surgery consultation manager, which is Tuesday, December 19, before I go to school on that day, to let me know when is the actual day for me to get rid of my boobs so I can become shirtless like all the other boys in the nearest future. Yo, my guys, I'm no longer overweight anymore. I'm no longer overweight anymore. See, with serious training, hard days paid off and less eating, you can do anything. You can absolutely do anything. So yeah, with my serious, consistent training, I'm no longer overweight anymore. I'm 193, you guys. 190 fucking three. And I got a few more to go because the doctor said either 190 or 180 for the operation to be successful. Yes. Because I'm thinking in January, I might lose three more pounds so I could get at least up to 188 or 189. But I have to keep going for the surgery updates. Because think about it. They cannot give you the surgery if you're overweight. You have to be underweight or skinny for the sex change operation surgery. You have to be underweight or very, very skinny for the process to happen. So anyway, you guys, I have been maxing out my training regimen. I have been maxing out for the past few days because of my weight loss journey. Like I said before, and I say it again, I'm no longer overweight anymore. I am no longer overweight anymore. Because I'm going to stay consistent with my training so I can be healthier and skinnier. Because I remember when I was a kid and a teenager, I was never an overweight person. When I was a kid and a teenager, I was always skinny. And I never ate that much. I only eat little kids' portions of food. When I was a little kid and a teenager, I never ate that much. I started gaining weight when I was in high school with bad eating habits. Bad choice of eating habits. But I learned to control my eating habits and, and I don't eat that much every single day. I mean, usually when you exercise, you do have to eat so you could get the energy. But anyway, I'm no longer overweight anymore. I'm so happy with this consistent multiple training work ethics and I keep on training nonstop. I can't believe it. 193, 190 fucking three pounds. And pretty soon when I lose three or four more pounds, it's going to be 189 in January. In January. I'm really happy with this serious training work that I've been put through. Exercise and train every single day. And you turn out your weight. Your weight is going to be okay. Just keep on training consistently to lose more weight. And you will do just fine. Just fine. I'm getting skinnier, you guys. I'm getting skinnier. I used to be overweight, used to be. For the past four months, as of four months ago, I was overweight, but four months later, like now, I'm underweight. I'm not overweight anymore. Overweight is 195 through 200 through 240. That's overweight. I'm no longer overweight anymore. I weigh 193 now. 193 pounds. I'm no longer overweight anymore. No longer. I used to be overweight. Used to be. But not anymore. I changed my eating habits. I've been training consistently every single day. Non-stop. Sit-ups, push-ups, treadmill, whatever. Lifting weights too. I mean, I am getting stronger. It may not be that much, but I am getting stronger. As you can see, my muscle. You can see my muscle. I am getting stronger little by little by doing push-ups and sit-ups and lifting weights a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. But yeah, my training regimen has been paid off and I'm a serious, consistent, hard worker when it comes to my physical training endurances because like I said before, I'm a college alumni and I just use the workout room consistently every single day to exercise and train. And it's really, really good to train to lose all this weight, especially for your sex change operation that it's gonna happen nearest future very very soon in this case so yeah i'm really happy with the serious consistent multiple training ethics that i put myself through for the past four months
So yeah, I keep training every single day. Sometimes I do tucker, tuckered out, get maxed out because I'm really, really tired. But I say to myself, no, I got to keep going. I got to keep going. Stop falling asleep. Legs, stop falling asleep. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Until you get really, really thinner in this case. And nowadays, in the futuristic timelines, in the nearest future, you'll become really, really thin the way you want to be thin. And not eating too much crappy foods that's going to make you sick and fat. So yeah, you guys, like I said before, and I'll say it again, and especially for cold and flu season, every YouTube session, every fucking YouTube session, like I say before, and I'll say it again, every YouTube session to help stop spread of germs that can make anyone get sick. But like I said, I already got sick this month. The day that I got sick this month was Friday and Saturday, December 8th and December 9th. I got sick. I already got sick this month. Good thing. It's a good thing I'm not sick today. Today I'm not sick. But I did got sick this month. I did for two days. December 8th and December 9th. I got sick. But the days when I got sick, I had to record the video. I had to. Because for my YouTube videos and the consistency of perfect attendance in school and work... I don't like giving excuses because I want my college professors and my boss to know that I'm very, very responsible for my actions. So, yeah, I'm very, very responsible for my actions when it comes to school, work and YouTube, especially having all the serious responsibilities. It's really tough at first, but when you stay consistent with it, you'll do just fine when you stay consistent with it, with your serious adult responsibilities in the nearest future you stay consistent with it try your best to stay consistent in life in order to succeed and become successful consistency is the key to success to success for almost anything if you get my drift so yeah you guys i can't believe it this is the season finale i can't believe it season 13 it's going to come to a close as soon as possible. So yeah, you guys, this is the season finale of season 12. And then pretty soon I'm going to start season 13. I will make a couple announcements for you guys to let you know when season 13 is about to start. Again, season 13 is going to be my season finale for my YouTube episode list. Season 13 is going to be my season finale. Because after season 13, that's it. No more seasons. No more episodes. I'm still going to do a lot of recordings for my YouTube videos, but it's mostly going to be about traveling arrangements and newest technologies like the newest video games, consoles, cell phones, what. Sorry, you guys, you had to hear that the ambulance sign. So fucking annoying. Sorry, you had to hear that. So annoying. So disrespectful. So anyway. Season 13 is coming up real, real soon. So, you guys, please be patient. This is the season finale of Justin Television's YouTube episodes. Season 12, episode season 17. This is the season finale today. And then I will do more futuristic videos. Like I said, after season 13, there's not going to be any more season videos, no more episodes. It's going to be traveling arrangements and unboxing newest technologies in the nearest future after season 13. Okay, you guys, I hope you find this video very satisfying. Comment down my channel and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. This is the season finale of Justin Television, season finale for season 12. Thank you guys so much for watching at this time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,